Imagine you walk into my house and you walk into my living room and the first thing you see is that there's a lion in there and everybody is just pretending like the lion is in there and they're eating steak, they're having fun watching TV and you're like, yo, there's a lion in the living room. You gotta walk out of here, like it's dangerous. That's how everyone right now is kind of like acting, like something is not wrong in the economy, like, like things are not about to just crash at any moment. So for example, Let's break this down, okay? Here's the reason why I stopped spending money. First of all, okay, you have this whole idea of there's a possibility of a war. No one's talking about it anymore, but y'all forgot, like, there's a war. We have nuclear. We have all this stuff that might happen. Like, that's a real thing. You also have inflation kind of running rampant. You're like, yo, inflation is a real thing. I can't go to the grocery store and spend less than $50. I've tried. I can't do it. It's crazy. You save money. The money is worth less. Like, that's not a good thing. And then there's an entire idea of, like, yo, the Fed raised the rates, people are getting laid off, and on top of that, on top of that, people want to buy homes, but now it becomes more expensive to actually buy them because loans are more expensive, and also loan prices or house prices went from a 200 to $300,000, which was kind of expensive, to now like literally like almost half a million dollars. Like, So we're just going to pretend like this stuff is not going on? That's the idea, okay? And by the way, I know I sound like a negative Nancy because there's a lot of negative stuff going on, but there's one thing I know, you can either make things happen or you can make excuses. So the goal is not to be like, yo guys, so much bad stuff is happening, like just give up, okay? Everything's done, like doesn't matter. No, the idea is, yo, let's acknowledge things are not going that well, but here is what you personally can do to make sure that you are okay. Because if you walk into the living room and there's a line there, you don't just stay there because everyone is there, okay? And it looks like everything's fine. No, you walk out of there and you leave. And you leave those people to keep pretending like there's not a lion in the living room, okay? And as always, guys, smash the like button. It helps out with the channel. And subscribe to the channel because I do post videos every single week. Now, the very first thing is, guys, let's break this down, okay? Because the number one skill of the human being, you and me, is... We forget so much that we forget to remember. I don't know how many times I've reminded myself, Tommy, your keys are in your hand. Two seconds later, where are my keys? Where are my glasses? Bro, they're in your hands and the glasses are on your face, okay? Always forget. Here's what I mean by this, okay, guys? You have this big scare of inflation, 9%. It is a lot, okay? It is scary. Things have gotten a lot more expensive. But in the past... We have had double digit inflation figures and we understand that economically the Fed does not want inflation to run rampant because that is a scary thing. So in return, they have to make it more expensive for you to do certain things that way they can slow down the economy. So by raising the rates, it becomes more expensive for you to buy a home, for you to spend a lot more money. People start saving more money and that kind of slows down inflation a little bit and then a little bit more. It's just what they do to help these things stop. But then everyone forgets that's what they do and they go crazy and the stock market crashes. And by the way, stock market is crashing. My investments are as exciting as watching paint dry, but lately it looks like the most exciting roller coaster on Disneyland because it's going up and going down. You can't know what's going on next, okay? The idea is just look back 10, 20 years. We see these market cycles happen all the time. The stock market crashes literally all the time. It's a part of what happens with market cycles. So don't be super worried about it. Just understand, hey, is America still solid? Are businesses still running? Are they still making money? Are we still innovative? Like if those answers are still there, then the world economy is probably gonna be just fine if you are investing into index funds, but there are businesses that will fail obviously. And then you have home prices. Tommy, but you know, I can't afford a home. Everything is so expensive. The answer is we live in a capitalist society. So use common sense here, okay? Because sometimes common sense is not common. And trust me, I know that because sometimes I forget I got common sense, all right? If things become too expensive for anyone to buy, naturally, the prices have to go down. If prices for homes are up here and no one can buy them, guess what? 
prices have to come down naturally. That's why you have buyer's markets and you have seller's markets. Right now, we have a seller's market. Things are very expensive to actually buy. But eventually, once the race goes up, becomes more expensive, guess what? Less people are going to be buying homes. Naturally, home prices have to go down. My point is, don't forget to remember. There's a lot of bad stuff out there, but these things are just repetitions and episodes of movies we've seen before. By the way, this war thing is not a movie. But when the consequences are that dire, because the consequence of a real war, like a real, real war, is basically everybody loses. Nobody wins because nuclear is not a... Have you seen a movie like where they launch missiles and basically the world ends? Like That's what happens. Like Nuclear weapons are not a joke. So if those are the consequences, the likelihood that everyone is going to participate and it's going to be like this massive thing is very unlikely. But you know, you have to keep appearances. My point is either way, there is a 100% sure way to be miserable and it's you trying to control things that you can't control. Like, it's 100% guaranteed to make you miserable. You can't control the war. You can't control the federal, the Fed. You can't control house prices. You can't control inflation. You can't control any of this stuff. So what can you do to actually make sure that you are solid? That is where your main focus should be. So I stopped spending the money because I understand, yo, I can't control everything that's happening here, but there are certain things that I can do myself to make sure that I'm solid and I'm standing on good footing on a solid foundation. So here's some things that you can do to make sure that you are solid. First thing is you got to understand what the real risk actually is for you. The real risk is, isn't for example, just inflation. The real risk is job loss because if you lose your job, you lose your source of income. If you have no source of income, you can't buy anything. So inflation doesn't even matter because you can't afford anything either way, okay? Things can get more expensive and then you can't really afford them, but you can find a way to buy the off-brand, buy less of it. But if you have no job, you have no income, you have no way of buying things. And whenever you hear about depression, be scared because depression means, oh, I can't get a job. I lost my job. And that is a scary thing. But that's what the news paints for you. That's what they tell you. And what I tell you is not my opinion. These are facts. We have over 11 million job openings, meaning the likelihood that you'll lose your job and not be able to find another job is very low because we have so many jobs available right now. So don't really worry that much about it, but understand that is the scariest thing. So in order to set yourself up to have the best chance that if that does happen to you, you lose your job, just make sure you have, for example, at least three months of your monthly expenses saved up. So if things go wrong, you can have, for example, unemployment insurance, obviously, right? To help you kind of like have some money on the side too. But then you also have three months to find another job. And you can always just pick up a job or a side hustle like Uber Eats or whatever to be able to do that while you keep applying and getting the job that you actually want to get, okay? Because we do have 11 million jobs available. But the best thing is make sure your skill is a skill that's going to be needed whether we are in a depression, a recession, or during the best time in the economy. But if your job is one that you know for a fact, this job is like two seconds away and one app from being obsolete, you probably want to start looking for another skill to actually get into. That's the idea, okay? Real estate agents, they make money when they're renting. They make money when they're selling. <laughs> they make money all the time if you are a smart one. But well, there are some out there that don't make any money. Again, you can either make things happen or you can make excuses, okay? Now, the third thing here, if you are living paycheck to paycheck, well, you should really be worried because whenever you have, again, there are things you can't control. There is no negotiating with a lion, okay? Tell a lion, yo, what about if I just gave you my arm? Like, would you leave me alone then? No, I'm gonna eat your whole body, you know, because it's a lion, it has control, it does what it wants, okay? But overall, if you are living paycheck to paycheck, it's kind of like living a life where if anything goes wrong, you are screwed. Everything has to go right. Everything has to go your way. If you lose your job, you're screwed. If your check comes in a little lower, you're screwed. If your credit card interest rates go up, you're screwed. Everything is just screwed, okay? It's a bad situation. So my point is this. The best thing you can do is kind of like, you kind of stop spending money in a sense, and that's the idea here, is you say, hey, what am I spending money on? What do I need to spend my money on? 
what do I kind of want? What don't I want here anymore? You make a budget, basically. You cut the things you you don't need, you can leave the things you do need, and you start basically building up yourself to make sure you're good to go. So if you have a bunch of debt, pay that off. If you have an emergency fund, well, get your emergency fund updated. If you have no investments, start investing. Because one big thing is, if you are a person where you have little debt to no debt, you have a fully funded emergency account, you have a good amount of money in your investment account, and you have basically your home almost paid off, the answer is things don't have to go your way because you're kind of prepared to make things happen no matter what. And once you're basically done, you're done, you're good to go, right? That's the idea. So I stopped spending money, not recently, a long time ago, in order to make sure that I was basically secured for the future. And by the way, don't forget to remember that since the beginning of time, we've been talking about, yo, the poor get poorer, the rich get richer, the middle class is gonna be squeezed, this is bad, this is good. These conversations are never ending. But throughout all of this, we've had more millionaires made in America than anywhere else. We've had, for example, people go from like, I start out with nothing to something. My point is, you can change your life just by taking steps to actually make things happen. But a guaranteed way to be miserable is to worry about things that you can't change. So don't forget about that. Remember, the news, they make money by you watching. And we like watching negative things, okay? That's how things work usually, psychology. Thanks for watching, guys, though. I appreciate it. I think I use a little psychology in this video. I appreciate it. Um, comment down below what you think about this video. And as always, like, subscribe, hit the bell so you're notified. Um, on top of that, follow me on Instagram at Tommy Bryson. Up here is another video. And over here is my face. Click on subscribe. And as always, long-term team out. Don't be so worried. Just set yourself up for success. That's the idea. Peace.